Hey Maniacs! So today we're doing something different. Um, I'm actually going to be working on my Genos armor, so we're doing a cosplay work log. Crazy, right? <laughs> I actually never thought I'd be making a work log because when I asked a bunch of people, they were like, nah, we think that's kind of boring and we know how much you like making kind of cinematic videos because I do that a lot for school. I still really want to do that, but... The reason I started vlogging in the first place was to document my progress on my cosplay, so I thought I'd kind of share that with you guys here as well, because I still really wanted to do that for myself, even if it's in a new medium. So I hope to be doing more cinematic stuff soon, but weirdly enough, right now we're going to be doing a work vlog. I've actually already started working on Genos because not too long ago, I ran a warbler workshop for my costume club at school, so I have the shoulder pieces done already because I made them as like little examples of what you can do with warbler. But yeah, I have never done a video of me making things before, so this should be fun. I think I'm going to adjust the camera so you can actually like see my hands. Yep. <laughs> I've already made the pattern pieces, so we're just going to start from there and see how this goes. Ah, <laughs> uh, wish me luck, I guess.
Well, uh, it took a few days, <laughs> but I finished the base of my Genos arm. Arms, there's another one. I'm just not wearing it because right now I'm, I'm balancing all of this. Um, basically what I plan on doing is I plan on attaching this to a sleeve with Velcro and straps so that it can be all detachable, but it'll stay on when I'm moving around. Um, I didn't do the hand for you guys because... Um, I'm actually planning on making a glove and attaching all the little hand pieces to that and I'm not really sure how I'm doing that yet, whether I want it to be permanent or removable, like all the little pieces on the glove. Um, so when I figure that out, then I'm going to make the glove. But other than that, this is like my completed Genos arm. <laughs> um, so I hope you enjoyed that. I I think I know a little bit about Orva. I'm not like a master. I hope that maybe watching this time lapse could help you if you're a beginner or it could just entertain you if you already are a master and are super better than me at Orva. I guess that's about it. I guess I will see you on the comm floor. By the way, this is going to be my genus week. Hopefully it'll look a lot better than it does now.